What's up, Addicts? Okay, so today I'm talking my guys. These are guys uh, that I'm going to be targeting in any every, every draft that I do, and I'm planting my flag. These are players that um, I really want to walk out of draft night on my team. Uh, first, we're going to do quarterbacks. So I got three names I just want to list here, uh, and again, you know, based on draft position, I'll, I'll name that here and I'll explain why. So number one, Cam Newton. I think uh, Cam Newton has been basically just undervalued as a quarterback for fantasy his entire career. So, you know, whether it's fair or not, quarterbacks that get yards on the ground with their legs uh, typically tend to have a lot more fantasy value than quarterbacks that simply throw. And Cam Newton always gets a decent amount of passing yards as well, but what really sets his value up is the fact that he can just rush the ball so much, just like we saw with Russell Wilson last year and Cam Newton. They just have that week-by-week -week upside that they can just completely take over a game. Um, Cam Newton has pro arguably the best receiving core that he's had in Carolina. They've got DJ Moore. And Torrey Smith will be a little bit of, a, of an upgrade for them. Probably not used too much, but Christian McCaffrey is, is coming into his own. Um, finally got rid of Jonathan Stewart, who didn't really do much for that team. And same thing for Kelvin Benjamin, <laughs> didn't really do much for that team. Uh, but Greg Olson is back. So, you know, again, projecting health, Cam Newton has an uh, arsenal of weapons, and he still has that uh, potential game-breaking rushing ability. He has more touchdowns scored. Uh, as a quarterback for his first couple years than any other quarterback has ever done in history. So Cam Newton right now going at 704 is an absolute steal. Now, I'll be honest, I don't typically like taking a quarterback in the seventh round. I think that's still a little bit too early. But if you're in a league where um, you start out with you know, players that maybe have fell a bit further than they were supposed to and you're just solid and you just want to lock down your quarterback for the year just with a set it and forget it guy, go Cam Newton. You can't go wrong. All right. So a little bit later, the uh, round when I normally like taking quarterbacks, uh, I have one well, probably my favorite guy this year is Mr. Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger, the quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So he's coming to camp and has been in uh, greater shape than we've seen him in quite some time. He has a chip on his shoulder. He was upset that uh, the Steelers drafted Mason Rudolph, and he's out to prove that he still got it. And last year, he did still have it. You know, after the first couple games of the season, he really proved that um, he can still destroy it on the field. And he was one of the top scoring fantasy quarterbacks over the second half of the year. And I think that trend continues. You know, again, we always got to worry about health with, with Big Ben. But if he plays every game this year and he doesn't miss any, then there's no reason that he can't be a quarterback one week in, week out. Now, I know he, he has shown historically that um, he performs much better when he's at home than when he's away. So, um, you know, that's definitely still a concern, still a factor. But when he's at home, he is a quarterback one by far, and he can outscore anybody. So, you know, worst case scenario, you draft him and another guy and just swap him out when he's on his away games. But honestly, I think he's good enough that you'll be able to start in most weeks. And you're getting him at 11-01 right now. I mean, he's free. If you're taking a quarterback in the 11th round, it's absolutely free. So I love the upside of Big Ben this year. I love waiting until the 11th round to get my quarterback and getting Big Ben as my quarterback. It's just, it feels dirty. It's so cheap. And then a uh, player going right after him that I love pairing these two guys in the back, back to back, grab one in the 10th, one in the 11th is Pat Mahomes. So Pat Mahomes, same thing with Cam Newton, he is a constant rushing threat. Part of the reason why I'm down on Kareem Hunt this year is because I think Pat Mahomes gets a lot of rushing touchdowns and steals some of his value. But with that, Pat Mahomes is going to score a lot of uh, rushing touchdowns on the ground, and he's got that tremendous arm, that pass that he threw to Tyreek Hill over the preseason, which is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Like almost 70 air yards. Nobody even came close to that last year. So he has a tremendous arm. Yes, he's going to have some games where he has far too many interceptions and makes mistakes because he's still really new to the league, but he is going to be a week, week by week, you know, potential 
blow up your scoreboard kind of guy. Very much like Deshaun Watson was last year. If he comes into his own, oh my gosh, you are getting such a steal drafting him in the 11, I think he's at 1105 right now. So you can, like I said, you can grab, you know, a floor guy like Matt Stafford or Matt Ryan or Philip Rivers and grab Pat Mahomes and just counter them, you know, hang on to him and see, wait for him to kind of come into his own as the season goes on completely free. And those are my guys. So I got Cam Newton, Ben Roethlisberger, Pat Mahomes, walk out of the draft with one or even two of these guys and you will be set. All right, guys, that's that's it for my guys for the quarterbacks. Check out my other videos for my guys for running backs, receivers, and tight ends. And if you guys want to know how I have everybody ranked, feel free to download my tiers. Click the link in the description box. They're free. And I'll be updating them uh, at least one more time, if not a few more times before the season starts. So um, that way you guys are completely prepared for your drafts. Anyway, hope you guys found this helpful. Peace.